Hi and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Before we jump into the tutorial, just to kind of give you a life update, right now today I got just news from something that I tried to reach a goal and it didn't work out. So I'm a little down today, but one of the things that I can always rely on is coming on here and doing some tutorials for you and for me. <laughs> so today I wanted to do something very uh, like 101 beginner techniques of drag makeup. That's the brow cover. I've done a makeup video on that before tutorial, but since that it has been a long time and I learned so much new things since then to really perfect it because the hardest part is not just getting rid of color but also of the texture. So I think I did come up with some really good solutions, finding techniques uh, also inspired by other drag queens. I definitely have some uh, techniques that I use from Raven or, as well as from Miss Fame. So those are like well-known drag queens that have shown those kind of techniques before, but maybe you haven't seen it yet. So let me go ahead and jump into the tutorial. All right, before I zoom all the way in, let me show you what products you need. And I will do two different techniques for you guys, just so you see um, what you might want to check out, as well as tell you the benefits of each technique. Now, first thing you need is uh, alcohol. This is just seven, no, ni uh, 91% uh, isopropyl uh, alcohol from CVS, but uh, just any any uh, alcohol will do. Next thing you need is the glue. So because I do show you two techniques, I have here the classic Alma's washable glue stick. It's important that's the purple one. <laughs> and then I have here something that's called um, Prosate Cream. There's also Prosate Liquid. Just make sure you use the cream because you have more control and uh, it's thicker in um, the texture. Now if you use the method with the prosate, with the prosate cream, you need those uh, two things. Uh, wooden spatula thingy, this one like it's so, like when you go to the doctor or like an ice cream stick, pop stick, whatever it's called, like something like that. Because with the prosate unfortunately it ruins anything it touches so don't use any good spatulas or anything like that because it's hard to get off. And then the other thing is some sort of spoolie. I personally like the ones that are actually um, plastic. I think it does a better job in getting the hairs in all the right directions. Now if you use the method with the Amherst glue, I would recommend just a, a tooth comb, a fine tooth comb, like something like that. And as you see this is very well used because you can use actually both sides for combing through and then for flattening and I show you how to do that with that. Next thing you need is Cody Airspun. It's just a cheap, good powder. Now this one is the translucent extra coverage. So that's what I would recommend because it does give you a little coverage. And the last thing you need is the Prolonger Waterproof Paint Pot from MAC. Now I use the color um, painterly because I have more of a pink undertone skin and I'm very light and this is a very close color actually to my skin color and if you are of a deeper shade you can either do low um, laying low or uh, groundwork those are all colors if you like if you have the deepest color use groundwork if you like a medium to medium dark I would use probably laying low and then for the light complexion Honestly, I would just do painterly just because the pink and the painterly paint pot cancels out the blue of the color of your eyebrows that will show through. So those are the three colors I would recommend for light, medium or dark complexion. All right, guys, I zoomed you all the way in. Now, the first thing you want to do is clean your brows. So that's why we have the alcohol. You just want to remove any oils that might are lingering inside your brows. Uh, from like lotions you might have used or just oil production throughout the day because the cleaner the surface is the more the glue will stick and it will be lasting you much longer. So this is like a vital step for a really good brow cover. So just really go in there, circular motions. Now if you do also a sideburn cover, what I always do, uh, use that too in those areas so you will just go and wipe down the sideburns because you will um, cover those too. And it's just, you know, 
takes off a little bit. I don't know if you see it. Dirt <laughs> also pulled out some hair, but that's normal for me. Um, so that's step number one. So step number two, let's go into the glues. Now, I start with the Elmas just because I need more layers of this, and this is one of the cons of using the glue stick, is you need more layers than with the Prosate. Now, with the glue stick, all you wanna do is you go in, I start in the back, and then I just go in circular motions, and you wanna resaturate really your brow. So you wanna go back and forth, Get that glue really in there and now after you co uh, coated your hairs really well now I'm going with my little um, comb and I brush them all up and I really take my time to really make sure they all go into the right direction make sure they all go up 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 now after you comb them all up now I'm turning my, my comb around and use that flat side and that's actually what I'm using to push the hair really against the skin. All right, now you wanna let that get dry. Um, so I'm going to the other side and that's where I use the Prosate Cream. Now for the Prosate Cream, you don't wanna use too much. So I'm using a little bit on this wooden thing. <laughs> and this is the amount that I'm using. So you see it's really just a, a itsy bitsy tiny little thing. And now again, I'm starting on the back and then go to the front and get that in there. And then pretty quickly, I just go with that spoolie and brush again, same direction, all just up. Now after they're all combed up, I'm using the other side of that uh, spoolie and just again push them flat on the skin because you want to have them as flat as possible. Now before I continue I actually want to remove the excess amount of glue that is up here. You could use the alcohol or if you are bougie you, there is something that's called prosate remover. This little bottle right here and this is really great because it takes any of that prosate away. It's also easy to remove your prosate at the end of the night. So talking about other pros and cons, why would you use which side? Prosate is much more stronger. This technique is waterproof. You literally can jump in a pool if you do prosate and your glue is not dissolving, it stays put and your makeup stays just on. So also if you're very like sweaty queen, uh, sweaty queen, I sweat a lot. So if I dance, if I move, especially here in Vegas, it's super hot, it's like 105 right now. So if you're out in drag, padded with the wig on, girl, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a struggle. This just secures me that nothing moves. Even if I sweat, even if I have to touch up my makeup, my brow stays flat. Now the con is, because it's so strong, it's much harder to remove. So you will take, you have to get something like that, or I mean, like I saw queens using alcohol and just rubbing and rubbing, but you will probably lose 500 brows each week. So I would recommend getting them the uh, remover. It's much, much more effective. Now, it's also a little bit more expensive. This technique, obviously you just need a glue stick. So it's much cheaper. Also, it's removable with water, so you just go. You can go in a shower and just wash your face off the makeup, and it will take off that glue. So it's much more gentle on the skin, and um, yeah, easier to remove. We have to go in with multiple layers, as I said before. So now it's important on how you actually use that glue stick. So what I do next is I just go in and up. So you don't want to rub back and forth, because what would happen if you do that is you could move the brow hair away. And now before it actually dries down, I take just that same cotton and just go around one more time because you don't wanna have a lot of excess glue around the corners. So for the other side, I'm going in with another layer too. So I do two layers on this side and then this one I do three to four layers. So I'm going in with some extra prosate and here I just go all on top, really get it also into between the hairs because this will also help me to fill in the hair gaps. And then again, we take in our little spoolie 
back side and just press it into between the hairs so that we get a smooth canvas. And again, before it dries down, we're going one more time around with the cotton, just removing all the excess product. The great thing about this purple glue is that you always can see when it's dry because it just gets clear. But the same for the prosate. Once this is clear, it's pretty much dry too. Now you want to wait till this is a little bit more clear just before we go in with the powder. It will still be sticky, trust. So we go in and with the third layer of this one. Now always make sure once you're done with the glue, really secure it. And then what I would recommend with the prosate, uh, really make sure there is no glue on the borders because once you shut it and then the glue will dry, it, it's pretty much impossible to get it reopened. So just make sure you are taking care of that. All right, next let's go into the Cody Airspun. Oops, make sure it doesn't fall out. And then we want to really press in the brows. So I'm taking it and you, this is where you really want to, with all fours, press it in. So really get it into the brows. And then I let, let it sit there for just a second. And while this is a, getting in there, I'm using the last little bit on this. Now this is something that many, many queens do and um, I don't know why, it just really works. So the last layer, you wanna have it a little wet. So all I do too is I lick, I lick the stick. <laughs> so you just do that, it just makes it a little softer and smoother. Look closely that you see all the hairs are flat. So you can go up to the mirror. Now with the last layer on the side, you don't want it to go clear. You don't want it to dry down. You want to go in immediately and use that tackiness of the glue and stick it down. So again, just take that powder and press violently. Now next you want to take a soft fluffy brush and just remove the extra powder that your skin is not needing. Now another pro and con, because this is more layers, this is thicker. So if you do photo shoots, if you do have HD film material taken from you, this will be more noticeable on the camera than this one because it is much softer. This is like, it's literally like two thin layers of glue and that's it. Well, this is four layers of glue that is much thicker in the first place. Now let's go into Painterly. Now, I love this product because of multiple reasons. First of all, it's an eyeshadow base. So any eyeshadow you put on top will stay all day. But it's a waterproof product too. So again, it kind of gives a little barrier between your skin and any things that could come onto your face, literally. All you do, you take a little dual fiber brush and then I, you want to go into, again, the direction of how you laid down the hair. So I'm going um, up and down and this will really get that in between the hairs. And you see how much it is of a perfect color for my complexion. That's why I love it too. So really make sure you get the product in between all the hairs. And then because I'm using it as an eyeshadow base, I always also go all over my movable eyelid. And then the last tip that I have is that you actually take it also in between the brows. The reason is because if you have that texture here and here, but nothing in the center, sometimes foundation can grab differently. So by having this little layer in between, it will be just one solid same texture. So last step we do is one more layer of the Cody Airspun just to really set everything. Then you take your brush and just remove. All right, guys, and this is pretty much how I do my brow cover. I mean, like, you still can see it, obviously, because there is no foundation around it. And then usually, obviously, you draw your brows and your eyeshadow on it. But texture-wise, it is flat. And then once this is, like, 100% like dry, dry, like bone dry, girl, I can, like, rub on them and nothing happens, which is really, really great. But I hope that gave you kind of, like, an idea of two different techniques on how to do the brow cover. Most importantly is getting all the hairs into the right direction and then making sure you get product in between the hairlines so that there is no like weird shadows that will give away that there is not just skin but also hair underneath. So that's my biggest techniques uh, that I can give you. And then again, also like 
pressing in that powder to really lock down that hair and then you will be good all night long. And that's the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching again. I hope it helped you or taught you a little bit something. I know it's been a little bit more of a basic video and not that full glamour like extravaganza but you know, at the end of the day, I think sometimes it's nice and refreshing to just go back to basic techniques and learn what works for somebody else. Because I know some people are like, oh, I don't need to see the 1500 like, brow cover tutorial. But then, again, maybe you heard me saying something else or saw me doing something else that you haven't seen before. And then it was all worth it. So if you like this video, give this video a like. Leave a comment, as always, in the comment section if you want to see more of those basic things, if you want to see more glamour things, if you want to let me do more boy makeup again. Like, whatever you want me to do, leave it in the comment section. And if you have not, subscribe to my YouTube channel and ring the little bell. And that will notify you whenever I upload a new video. And that was it. Oh, and share it with your friends and family. So down there is a little share button so you can share it on your social media and via text and email. That's it. I appreciate you as always, and I'm sending you love, and until I see you next time, stay safe and wash your hands. Bye-bye.